Well, yes. I am cosplay. Hey guys, everybody at Chaos Drama here, here to have a progress video on my boom, Batman Beyond cosplay armor build for Katsukon 2016. Now, I meant to actually do a uh, couple videos on this build. I was thinking about it. I was like, maybe I should do a uh, bit on this build, but you know, I'm lazy. Then everyone was like, do a video. Let's do a video. Oh yeah, I do a video. I want to see what you're doing while you're doing it. <laughs> so, here we are. As you can see, I got a bunch done on this already. I've got the full torso done. Heck, I've even got uh, part of the arm done. This little thing right here, just to... But enough of me just flailing it around and showing you. Let me just give you a nice little view of how this looks. Boom, there we go. Now, as you can see, this fits pretty good on my body already. I actually made straps out of uh, one fourth uh, inch foam. And I made the base build out of um, one inch thick foam. It's pretty awesome. This is actually all freehand. I, I really didn't follow any sort of like tutorial guidelines on how to make this armor. This is all pretty much freehand. I actually had to end up making my own templates. I think this one was for the back plates. Yeah, yeah, this, is, this one was definitely for the back plates. Uh, it feels awesome, you know. Um, I honestly recommend people to do like foam cosplay armor if they want to feel good about making something from scratch. Uh, it's super, it's super cool to be able to like imagine something in your head and then have it be like physically there. It's super cool. What I have to do now is finish the legs. Still haven't done the legs. I did end up sealing this with Mod Podge. I was gonna go dupli color, but uh, or not dupli color with uh, plastic dip, but I ran out. I would have not had enough of a can to like you know, um, actually coat all this, and I didn't feel like buying stuff because I'm cheap. Cosplay's expensive, y'all. Mod Podge is just as good. You just need to be a, a bit more, uh, you know, careful with it, and it takes a lot more time, but it's worth it if you lay it on nicely, which I believe I did. Since it's nice out, I'm gonna paint it with this uh, dupli color perfect match spray paint. I think it's uh, universal black metallic, because uh, I want this to be a really shiny sort of armor piece. The logo and some of the uh, accents will be a metallic red. I think like a cherry red or, or something like that. But this is gonna be this is gonna be a really, really, really shiny uh, armor set, and it's gonna go over a Sentai suit as well. There's kind of like not a lot of mobility, um, but that's fine. It's got enough mobility. I actually, um, I was watching this Batman armor tutorial, and uh, the YouTuber actually had a way of making the uh, shoulders be able to move without them like kind of falling apart. If you can see it, there's actually a little kind of, I uh, use the one fourth inch thick foam to actually give a little play to the shoulders so that they can move up and down without them really having to uh, kind of tear themselves apart. All in all, I'm pretty, um, I'm pretty confident and excited to finish this project now. Um, like I said, I only have to do the legs and the helmet. Oh my god, the helmet's gonna be horrible. <laughs> anyway, that's my progress update on my Batman Beyond build for Katsukon. And I'm excited to see you all there who, who's ever going. And if you want to see another video I did uh, that's cosplay related, check out my Kratos face paint tutorial. That was really just a one-off. Like, I just decided that day, oh hey, I want to do Kratos face paint. I remember telling my mom, hey mom, I'm gonna be in my room <laughs> doing Kratos face paint. And she's like, Oh, child, go, go do that. My mom doesn't sound like that. I should probably hit myself for doing that. This is Octroman, and I'm signing out.